welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and this is the Katie Cat Nails channel. Today we're going to go ahead and jump right into some Nail Reserve PR. This company reached back out to me once again to do some PR for them and they let me choose seven absolutely gorgeous shades. Nail Reserve is a 21 chemical free, cruelty free, and vegan nail company. So I'm extra excited to be doing this unboxing today. And let's just go ahead and take a look at the packaging. The packaging, just like last time, is a plain brown box with some tape. This time it does have a little sticky on it. I actually love this packaging because it is like super eco-friendly. Um, I believe that this car cardboard is compostable, as is the um, plain cardboard like inner packaging which I think is like totally great um so that's definitely a big thing for me I think I doted on the packaging last time I did an unboxing from them but I just think that it's so great that even their packaging is eco-friendly like this is the bee's knees um so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this aside and get my gels out of here because my daughter absolutely loves this stuff it is currently all over my house so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these gels out and save this for her and I'll be right back so this time I actually got six shades. Um, the first PR I did for them, I got seven, but this time I got six. And I'll just quickly show you the names of the gels and then I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the swatches. And this is all six shades. Each one is absolutely gorgeous. I am loving these glitters. So stinking pretty. Look at that, so gorgeous. So I already have my nail tips prepped. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out and we're gonna go ahead and get right into our nail art. So I already have my nails prepped and ready to go. They have their base coat on them. And my idea pretty much is to, I'm going to go in on these four nails with the glitter shades 
and then I'm going to go over them with one of the solid shades and I'm going to kind of like cut it out so you can peekaboo see the glitter. So let's go ahead and just get right into that. And this is what the nails are looking like with just the glitter down. I absolutely love how they came out. The sparkle, the shimmer, the little hollow pieces in it. It's just everything. That rose gold glitter is just absolutely stunning. It's definitely my favorite out of the three, I think. So for the ring finger, I just went ahead and I applied some blooming gel. And then I took a little bit of each of the solid colors and a little bit of the rose gold color. And I just applied them in dots. And then I swirled them around the nail to create a super, super cute marble. This marble was everything to me. So I'm going to go ahead and be quiet and I will let you enjoy the process. And this is what my marble is looking like. I absolutely love it. I think it came out so super duper cute. So what I want to do on the rest of the nails is just kind of bring it all in. I'm going to add a little bit of each of the solid colors to each of the glitter nails. And we're just going to kind of tie these bad boys in.
I ended up finishing up the rhinestone nail off camera just because I was having a hard time getting the stones to kind of sit where I wanted. But I think it's absolutely adorable. I love this. It is kind of like haphazard and all over the place, but I definitely feel like it fits the groovy, like, I don't know, the vibe. I feel like it fits the vibe. So let's go ahead and top coat these baddies and take a look at what they look like all together. I'll probably get you a good shot of them in the sunlight since it is a beautiful day outside today. And I do not have their base coat or top coat, but that's definitely on my list of things to get because I absolutely love these gels. The only one that was a little thin was the neon orange, but if you know anything about neon colors, in my experience, that's kind of usually the case. But even though it was a little bit thinner than the others, the pigment in it was still fantastic for a neon. So that's definitely not a complaint, just an observation. So I will be going in with my McCart top coat just because that's the one. Mm -hmm. 